good Wednesday evening. So this time last year, Minneapolis was getting ready for something big. The women's final four at the Target Center. And as a lot of us were watching how our hometown hero Paige Becker was playing, about 20,000 people not from Minnesota were on their way here as well, spending money on things like tickets to the games, food, hotels, flights, and all Minnesota sports and events say the Final Four meant almost $35 million in economic impact for our state. So tonight at the state capitol, lawmakers say let's keep those good times rolling, but with a bit of a twist, adding taxpayer dollars to the mix. 50 million of those, in fact. John Croman is at the capitol with more about this plan. Hey, John. Hey, Jana, those events cost a lot of money to host. And the group that uh, right now, the nonprofit that is uh, beginning to deal with these and try to make these bids, they say corporate money isn't enough. They say that we're losing out now to other places that can use both a mix of corporate and public dollars. In fact, we're losing to cities that don't have to say we'll find the money because they can say we've got the money. The Super Bowl generated a lot of tourism dollars and good vibes about the Twin Cities, but it cost tens of millions of dollars to host. Public safety, permitting, operations, all of all of the costs, all of that money stays stays local, but corporations cannot continue to fund at the level they have. Super Bowl costs $50 million. Men's Final Four was 15 to 20 million. Wendy Blackshaw's job at Minnesota Sports and Events is to bring those national tournaments and marquee games here, but the landscape is changing. Since the pandemic, cities, other cities across the country have really understood that these events bring economic vitality to back to cities. So. It, the competition has gotten fierce. So we are losing to other cities like Indianapolis, Detroit, Las Vegas, um, regularly because they have the funding in place. Right now her group is bidding on the U.S. Olympic gymnastics trial where Suni Lee is expected to be competing. So for example when USA Gymnastics sends out a bid to all these cities, those cities have a check uh, a checkbook that they can you know, write a check right away and hand over. We, on the other hand, have to raise the money for corporate sponsorship, and that funding isn't guaranteed. The funding would be used for events that we actually win the bid and host. Blackshaw made her pitch to the Senate Economic Development Committee in favor of a bill sponsored by Senator Fong Her that would set aside $50 million in state money. Explain to me where the, the benefit would be to workers for Minnesota as to why we should expend $50 million that will go out our doors uh, for the benefit of, of attracting other um, you know, big national events that may not come to Minnesota. Any large venue that we can attract to our state and bring people from other states to here will be a major plus. We would be eating in our restaurants, they'd be flying into our airports, they would be shopping at our retail stores. This is the kind of economic impact that can really help us as we come out of the pandemic. We are asking for support. North Star legend Lou Nanny appeared via video to plug the value of the USA Hockey World Junior Championship that would cost $18 million to host. You have countries from all over the world competing and every day, all day long on the NHL network, you could see games or discussions about the tournament. The House version of the bill is being carried by Representative Kwali Vang Her. We are the only state that does not use public dollars to do this kind of work, and that our state benefits as an entire state. And then there's also dollars that come to reinvest back into communities and to uh, initiatives to support sports uh, in our state of Minnesota. Lawmakers also heard testimony from youth sports groups that say that these big events help them, especially in underprivileged areas, because they have all these peripheral events surrounding the main show. Jana, what the both the House and Senate committees did today was they voted to lay this over for possible inclusion in an omnibus bill. That's legislative speak for we're going to keep it alive for now and revisit this later and maybe go and do it or get it you know, past the goal line or pick your sports metaphor. <laughs> I'll stay away from that. But John, you've been in the rooms with testimony many, many times. What was the feel you got? Skepticism in favor or a big nah? 
Um, there was a little bit of skepticism. You kind of heard it in Bobby Joe Champion's question during that. But uh, part of it is that they, they, sh they need to clarify, um, and the, the group did clarify, that this money isn't just going to be spent immediately. This money is going to go, is going to be on deposit, and they'll use it only if they get one of these big events. Okay. Well, we'll look forward in that catch-all sports metaphor, Bill, at the end of the session. Thanks, John.